Hey guys, here again talking about the Bible flock box and his denial of eternal suffering in hell. And uh, I listened to it a little further. And uh, I don't know if he's a Seventh day Adventist or what, but I said basically that he said that no one goes to heaven or hell right now. And then he says that they're only asleep. And then he goes on to say that. Um, Hell isn't forever. So, uh, man, big false teacher this guy is. He's a little weasel here. Uh, and it's not even halfway through yet. It's disgusting. But anyways, on the forum, I made a page for him. Um, and false teachers, Bible flock box. And I'm constructing together his teaching here so I can refute it. I'm looking at the verses that he's using to teach this. And I just wanted to mention some things so far. Um... You know, he says that the Bible uses sleep to describe the state of the dead, so that he uses that to support soul sleep. Okay, that doesn't. Uh, that's just a figure of speech, um, you know, referring to the physical state of people, um, you know, how we would see them. It's like they're asleep, you know, they're dead physically. That doesn't mean that spiritually that they are still existing, okay? Uh, people's souls are eternal, and, you know, as I said in the, the first video I made on him not long ago, that Jesus told the thief on the cross, you know, today you'll be with me in paradise. Paul said it's better to, to be, you know, absent from the body and present with the Lord. And so that those refute soul sleep. He doesn't mention those. He doesn't deal with that. You know, he says the dead have no feelings because they're in the grave unconscious until the resurrection. So he uses Ecclesiastes 9, 5, 6, and 10. It says, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love, their hatred, their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. And, you know, this is, uh, you know, it's talking about, like, physically, like, in, in this world, this physical world here, that, that, that none of this stuff's going to exist for them anymore. So, <laughs> he's just, like, completely twisting things, and, uh. It's unfortunate that people would fall for this. And, you know, Jesus warned about, you know, it'd be better to pluck out your eye and stuff than to go to hell. And so if hell was just be ceasing to exist, uh, you know, why would Jesus be so serious about it? And, um, you know, he says that if Jesus paid the penalty, why isn't he burning in hell for all eternity? <laughs> and, you know, the same thing could be asked for his position. He thinks that he thinks that hell isn't burning for eternity. He thinks that hell is ceasing to exist ever anymore. Well, then why doesn't Jesus cease to exist anymore? Okay, so you could ask him the same thing. Um, but anyways, um, let's see. And Jesus, you know, he didn't have to burn in hell forever. Jesus was sinless, and uh, so he died for us. He shed his blood for us, and he is the, you know, the atonement for those who believe in him and you know so he has a complete misunderstanding of all this stuff um, and a lot of it has to do with figures of speech i harp on a lot and stuff but you know see people he's trying to take where it says that uh, it describes dead people as asleep and he tries to teach soul sleep with that it doesn't work and he says you know the wages of sin is death and he says you know death isn't um suffering forever in hell but in this context it is and and then he also says that jesus said those who believe in him have everlasting life or eternal life and those who don't believe perish and they don't have eternal life so he's saying if if you if you suffer if those who went to hell suffered in hell forever they would basically have eternal life or they would be immortal but the thing is that those who are saved, who live with God forever, that what they possess is 
uh, described as eternal life because it's a good thing, okay? And so being separated from God uh, for eternity or suffering in hell forever is described as death, okay? Yes, they, they do continue to exist forever, but it's not described as eternal life because it's not a good thing. It's the worst thing. So, <laughs> um, he's playing like these word games and stuff. Um, See, so he said, if people burn in hell forever, that would mean they are, they are eternal. And then he uses these verses, 1 John 5, uh, 11 and 12. And this is the record that God given has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So that doesn't mean that those who go to hell don't uh, continue to exist and suffer forever in torments. They do. Okay, but that is not described as eternal life and neither should it be okay it's that's death that's burning in the lake of fire the fire that burns with brimstone right anyways so but i want to go into more detail of these and, and finish listening to the rest of this horrible horrible uh teaching and i left a comment and i said you know Fact number one, he's a false teacher, and here's somebody already just asking, I was wondering about the teaching, I was wondering myself, so please send me a link exposing the false teaching. Well, it should be pretty obvious, someone who's denying an eternal hell, and I think he's on like fact number six or something, and he's saying that preaching an eternal hell turns people away from God. And so, basically, I guess he's accusing Jesus himself of turning people away from him. Uh, okay. This guy is just completely nuts. A false teacher, and apparently people like to be deceived. There are many deceivers, and people being deceived. And, uh, this is just horrible. <laughs> 